Dear friends, as promised, I will continue my video diary. It started three weeks ago uh, in New York, um, where I had a performance at Carnegie Hall. Then uh, um, I was in uh, Vienna for three days, then Italy uh, with a piano recital in Genova, then in uh, Germany in Augsburg um, with a talk presentation. And uh, that was the uh, last installation of the um, video diary. And uh, today I want to cover um, my time in Lithuania. Um, in uh, Lithuania, um, I arrived directly from Augsburg, um, traveling through Poland. And uh, I had two different projects. Uh, one was in um, the city of Vilnius with the Lithuanian Chamber Orchestra, recording a CD, um, actually not just a CD, but also a video um, of Gia Cancelli's uh, two major works. Uh, one is Middelheim for piano trio and uh, string orchestra, and the other one is Ex Contrario, for two violins, um, synthesizer, um, electric bass, bass guitar, and uh, um, and string orchestra. So um, both works actually um, will be the world premiere recording. Um, there, there are Gia often created different versions of um, his pieces, and there is another version of Middelheim just for piano trio, um, and there is another version of Ex Contrario for um, violin, cello, and um, similar forces of the chamber orchestra. Um, but for this particular two versions, these are. Um, the world premiere recordings. And in fact, Middelheim, um, I, had, I had the great pleasure and honor to give the world premiere performance um, in 2018 in the city of Sion. And Gia Cancelli was um, still alive uh, and he was present in the rehearsals and uh, in the concert. And it was absolutely incredible experience to collaborate with him directly and a great honor. So um, in Vilnius, uh, it was really wonderful experience. And I have to mention also all of our soloists. Uh, so for um, Middelheim, um, it was with Svetlana Makarova and on, on the violin and uh, Jim uh, Chao on cello and uh, uh, and I played piano uh, and conducted from piano. And for Ex Contrario, the two violins were Pavel Vernikov and Svetlana Makarova. Um, also, actually, <laughs> um, Raphael played the um, bass guitar, um, quite to his own surprise. Um, but the orchestra asked him and it all worked out nicely. Um, and it was it was a wonderful experience. Um, we had an uh, interesting start in Vilnius because um, we were supposed to rehearse uh, just the soloist's rehearsal um, on June 2nd. And it's always a good idea to rehearse just with the soloists if it is a concerto or concerto gross type of a work before rehearsing with orchestra. So um, we were supposed to have our um, long for hour long rehearsal uh, for both works on uh, June 2nd. But then two of our <laughs> soloists got strangled and couldn't make it actually to Vilnius until very, very late at night, actually the morning, the previous day. And the orchestral rehearsal was scheduled for 10 in the morning, um, which was an interesting challenge for me as a conductor. But then um, we scheduled an early rehearsal at nine o'clock for the soloists of Middelheim. Then orchestral rehearsal, rehearsal at 10 o'clock, 
And then in the break, when the orchestra was resting, we had a shorter rehearsal for the soloists of Ex Contrario. So we were able to continue without changing the schedule. But then um, we also scheduled additional soloists rehearsal um, in the evening for both works. Um, which uh, made it a very, very long day. So it was four hour with the orchestra and ended up being four hours uh, with soloists all in one day. And actually, I, um, although, of course, it was uh, a long day for me, but uh, the hero of the day was uh, Svetlana Makarova because uh, she was one of the soloists who arrived at night. So actually, and she was the only soloist who plays in both pieces. Um, so for her, not only she had <laughs> eight hours of um, of rehearsal time that day, but she did it with practically no sleep. So maybe, maybe two or three hours of sleep. So, um, um, but um, in any case, uh, it was um, really wonderful, wonderful uh, experience. I'm uh, very grateful for, to Pavel Vernikov for um, being at the heart of this project. It, it, it was a project that was postponed for uh, quite a few years. And every time we scheduled, something happened. Uh, and a lot of things, as you know, happened in the last couple of years. But for me, it was wonderful uh, to collaborate again with the Lithuanian Chamber Orchestra because um, it was a re-invitation for me. As I mentioned, I collaborated with them uh, in Switzerland before, and I was already very impressed um, about that collaboration. And of course, spending so much time together during um, these four days, um, two days of rehearsals and two days of uh, recording session. Uh, was incredibly gratifying. And Gia Cancelli's music, if you don't know it, just stop watching and please uh, get to know it because his music is incredibly beautiful. It's magical. Um, he said, um, in Sion, he said something to me. Um, he said, I write very simple music, which is very difficult to perform. And it is very true. A lot of his music is very meditative and very slow. And yet there is always inner flow. And it's quite a challenge to achieve in the performance or in the recording. So um, yes, um, that was my experience in Vilnius. Uh, it was also quite a special uh, return for me because I was in Vilnius. Um, well, I was in Vilnius before uh, just um, passing, but um, I spent time in Vilnius as a child at the age of eight. And it was incredibly powerful experience for me that in some ways changed my life, I would say. It opened my eyes coming from a very kind of gray, uh, dark uh, um, Chelyabinsk, which was a closed industrial city, the gate of, gateway of Siberia, uh, Urals, um, and at the age of eight, visiting this incredible European, um, majestic, beautiful city, um, it was it was absolutely an eye-opening and I still remember hearing the organ at the Vilnius Cathedral for the very first time at that age and the impression it made on me. Um, then after Vilnius was Kaunas. Kaunas um, also was um, a return because I was uh, there for the world premiere of my sixth symphony um vessels of light um just last november um but during that visit i was there as a composer and during this visit i was uh, there as a conductor 
And it was a very fun, interesting, uh, exciting, uh, contrasting program, uh, which I designed around the theme of uh, uh, Midsummer's Dream and dreaming and storytelling. The concert was intended for uh, as a family concert, so for both for adults and children in the audience. So this aspect of uh, storytelling was uh, very important to me. So the program uh, was uh, Greek, um, the first uh, suite from Pergunt, um, then uh, followed by Schnitke, um, suite from Clowns und Kinder, followed by uh, the suite from Mendelssohn's uh, Midsummer's Night Dream, and um, followed by Ravel Bolero. And um, that was the first time I collaborated with Kaunas Symphony Orchestra as a conductor, um, not as a composer. And uh, it was also very happy, uh, delightful collaborations, uh, collaboration. And um, um, we really enjoyed these days of rehearsals and ultimately the concert. Um, and I'm I'm very much looking forward to returning to collaborate again with these wonderful musicians. And it was very gratifying also um, to experience the welcome and enthusiasm of the public. So all in all, it was a, it was a great and very enjoyable experience. And uh, there was a very interesting, actually, twist to the whole thing. Um, because during these, um, well, how many days altogether? Well, a little bit over uh, one week between Vilnius and Kaunas. Um, I also had um, not one, not two, but three courses of psychology, which normally doesn't happen, but it was the ending of two courses and beginning of one. Uh, it was the end of my Ericksonian therapy course, uh, which was eight months long course, uh, which I took this year, and ending of my <clears throat> neurolinguistics master's course, uh, which I'm taking on also on Zoom uh, with the Institute in London, and uh, beginning of a new course, a much shorter course that I'm taking right now. But the ending of neurolinguistics course um, was actually a module, which means it's taking time during the weekend. It's usually Friday, Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it takes the whole day, each day. So uh, it takes six and a half hours per day which presented a very interesting challenge because at that time I was already in Kaunas and I was rehearsing with orchestra and performing with orchestra. <laughs> so how do you combine it? So actually it worked uh, quite surprisingly nicely because um, I would have, uh, because of the time difference with London, um, for example, on Saturday, I had um, rehearsal with orchestra which was supposed to be, I mean, altogether four hours long with the breaks, but actually it was a little bit shorter. Um, and then um, I had my uh, six and a half hours of the, of the module, the last module um, on Zoom. And of course, um, on the, the day of the concert, uh, also, even though it's a shorter program, it was right in the middle of the course. So I had the program actually running in my dressing room. <laughs> and immediately after the um, last applause, I rushed and because I really didn't want to miss it. It was it's it's a really incredibly enjoyable and valuable and program in which I learned so much and actually believe it's invaluable gift. Uh, especially as a conductor, uh, the techniques that we learn there um, are really 
have changed my life. So, um, but it was, I'm, I'm sure for the administration of the orchestra, it was probably quite insane that I had this course actually running in my dressing room and um, I couldn't go out after the performance because I had to be a student. Um, but then we still had time afterwards, uh, after the end uh, of the module, and we did have a very nice, very sweet celebration to mark um, both the, <laughs> the experience uh, with the Kauna Symphony Orchestra and the ending of my master's course, um, which is also a very important um, demarcation for me. Um, Anyway, um, that was my experience in uh, Lithuania. Uh, the next day, I also had a little bit of time before my flight, and uh, um, we had a um, friend from the orchestra, actually the director of the orchestra, who very generously um, showed us um, absolutely incredible sights around the city, uh, which I didn't get to see last time. Um, so Algis, if you're hearing it, thank you very much because it made a very strong impression um, with so beautiful, uh, beautiful castle and um, actually more than one, <laughs> uh, beautiful views. Um, on top from the from the top of the uh, mountain into the city and uh, very also beautiful views on the way of, from Kaunas to Vilnius. Um, we took a scenic, scenic crowd um, and um, stopped at some really, the nature is so, so beautiful and uh, this very old, uh, buildings, old streets, um, they really look like um, scenery from from a movie. So I definitely want to come back and um, experience in greater detail and depth and uh, time uh, this um, incredible region. So this is all for now. I am uh, recording this from Vienna, um, where I had a short stop just uh, for three days. Um, and my traveling will continue tomorrow. Until next time.